them back on their feet. Simmons, Belkies, and Ray live in the Plex with their heartwarming story, Belkies. Love this. This is my second good news story today. Yay! They've seen more than their fair share of hardship, but now they're finally opening the door to a hopeful new future. <laughs> Talk about a special welcome home. Joanne and Jose Tavares getting to see the inside of their new house for the first time. Oh my God. The tears were flowing as the couple saw how beautifully their new home was furnished by American Signature Furniture. The 1,400 square foot, three bedroom, two bathroom house made to feel like home from day one. I hope you like it. So overwhelmed by the generous gift, they could barely speak. Ten years ago, they had no place to call home. After Jose developed diabetes, the illness damaged his vision and he lost his job as a career truck driver. We were homeless. I have five children. My five children, my husband, myself. We saw ourselves in, uh, sleeping in a van. Police eventually intervened and took the family to a shelter. And that put them on the path from homelessness to homelessness. Ownership. So everyone comes with a different story, and what unifies them is their hope for a new start. Miami nonprofit Car4 Supportive Housing helped Joanne with job training, which helped her land a position as a property manager. We took benefit of all their programs, everything they offered, until we finally are here. It took us a while, but we made it. Now the family literally has a new lease on life to go along with their new home. Home ownership is a way to build wealth in this country, the way our system is set up, and so home ownership helps families build wealth and move forward. There is light in the end of the tunnel. Amen to that. Congratulations to the Tavares family. And by the way, they've already managed to put three of their kids through college. What a great story. It's Good Story Friday. Live in the Newsplex, I'm Belkis Nere, 7 News.